What's up guys, Everyday iTech here and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 26.2 to iOS 26.1. Now this is for the Gestalt exploit that was recently discovered, which allows you to do a bunch of cool things on your iPhone and iPad, including being able to run the iPad OS on your iPhones, being able to multitask just like an iPad on your iPhone and some other things as well, like being able to enable a five icon dock being able to enable always on display on a non-supported device and some more stuff here in the future which i will keep you guys updated on anyways this is super exciting stuff now although it's not a full jailbreak it's still cool that we could essentially run tweaks on ios 26.1 all right now technically this exploit also does work on ios 26.2 beta 1 but beta 2 and up will block the exploit so me personally as iOS 26.2 beta 1 was very buggy and laggy, I would prefer you guys to downgrade to iOS 26.1. That way you're on the most stable version of iOS that supports this Gestalt exploit. So anyways, downgrading is super easy. All you need is your Windows PC or a Mac computer and two brain cells. So don't worry, it's super easy. And since most people are on Windows, I will be showing you guys how to downgrade on Windows, but on Mac, it's pretty much the exact same steps. You just use Finder on Mac as opposed to iTunes on a Windows PC. As we talk about downgrading your iPhone, what about upgrading your Apple CarPlay experience? That brings us to the sponsor of this video, Car Lyric. With Car Lyric, you can display lyrics of the song you are playing in real time on Apple CarPlay. So you can CarPlay karaoke and just see what your artists are actually saying. All right, now this is so freaking cool. So there's the Car Lyric app. Not only does it support Apple Music, but it also supports Spotify. And of course, you can enable live activities and you can change how it looks on your dynamic island. And you can also set it to auto close. So once you're done using this, after you close your music app, this will close automatically too. And you can also refresh this display so it displays the lyrics in real time. So let's go ahead and play a song and look at that. Now I'm showing lyrics at the bottom over there too, which is so, so cool. We actually have a widget available too and you can also change the theme as well so you have this darker one or you have this spotify-esque one or this gray one so i have it over here and you guys could see that we have the music controls as well so you can actually go and interact with this and it will also show you the lyrics over here in real time as well so i'm going to skip a song too okay you don't even know what they're saying until you like use this app and yeah guys that is car lyric again it's available completely for free inside the app store so why not go ahead and check it out give it a try and now let's get back to the video all right, so first, go ahead and plug your device into your computer. Make sure that it is trusted. Boom, just like that, you guys can see it pops up with the prompt to trust the computer. So I'm gonna tap on trust and type in my passcode. And just like that, we should be connected. All right, now again, just a disclaimer on Windows, you will need to have iTunes installed. So you guys can see I do have iTunes installed over here. Make sure you go ahead and run it and that your device shows up inside here. So you guys can see over here, bro, move. Uh, bro, move, move, bro. Holy crap. Okay, so over here, you guys see my bro. device does... Sh okay, it's gonna piss me off. <laughs> I don't want to type in my Apple ID right now. I just need iTunes to make my device show. So, boom. There is my device, my iPhone right there. So, you guys look... And yeah, you will not only need iTunes to be able to connect your device, but you will also need it to be able to downgrade. So, you guys see, we have that restore option right there. On Mac, it's even more easy. You do not need to download iTunes. You simply open up Finder and click on your device. Anyways, so once your device is connected successfully we want to open up our internet browser head over to ipsw.me boom just like that and you can see it pops up with all the devices so for me i have an iphone and it's going to click out the ad and we have the iphone 17 base model if you have the pro or the pro max or the air you would select accordingly so we have the 17 so i'm going to go ahead and click right there and you can see ios 26.1 is currently being signed so 
that's why it's in the green once it's over here in the red then that means we will no longer be able to downgrade as apple has stopped signing it so once it pops over here you're out of luck so make sure you do this as soon as possible share this video with your friends so anyways all we can do is click on it here and you guys will see a download link so it is 11 gigabytes so make sure you have enough space on your computer of course and the download has started up over here and it will download very quickly i will be back once it is done all right so it has finished downloading as you guys can see over here so we're just going to open up the folder where it's in and anyway just to make this easy i'm just going to drag and drop this onto my desktop we are basically done so let's go and open up itunes or again if you are on mac you can open up finder again click on your device and make sure it pops up over here we're going to be doing a clean wipe to be able to downgrade unfortunately that's the only way to downgrade to an older ios version now so before you're going to do anything make sure that you have backed up your device either through itunes where it says backup now over here or you could back up through icloud on your iphone anyways once your device is backed up on your iphone now to be able to again restore first thing you want to do is open up settings and go down over to face id and passcode type in your passcode and once you are in you want to scroll down until you find stolen device protection head tap on into here and you guys could see that there's an option to disable it to disable find my you do have to disable stolen device protection without this disabled it will not let you disable find my so anyways now we can go ahead and go back over here and tap on our name in the settings on the main page and scroll down you guys will see find my and again same thing over here we're gonna tap on find my iphone and disable it this will pop up so again once you are downgraded you can enable find my and stolen device protection once again anyways holding down the shift key on windows or the option key on mac and click on restore iphone and now go to the desktop where we have the file let's go to click on it and click on open just like that itunes will erase and restore your iphone to ios 26.1 and will verify the restore with apple click on a restore and just like that you guys can see it's extracting the software and we are basically done we just gotta wait now now again guys do this while ios 26.1 is still being signed by apple now it's preparing iphone for restore and the device will turn off as you guys can see pops up with the itunes thing waiting for iphone made that bloopy bloop sound so now my device is off it should be turning on here in a second again make sure not to disconnect the cable leave it plugged in and ideally don't even touch your device okay don't be like me and be holding it up anyways now we see the apple logo on itunes it still says preparing iphone for restore and now we're getting that little loading bar to start the restore process completely and finish it up so leave your device alone i'll be back once this is complete all right so you guys can see we are almost done here it says restoring iphone firmware all right and finally it is done you guys can see that it now says welcome to your new iphone so anyways back on my device over here we're now at the hello screen so it's a brand new setup and again you can restore from your icloud or itunes backup from over here so let's go and go through this and i'll be back once i'm at the main page <sighs> i miss when iphone setups were a lot shorter but anyways now we're at the welcome screen you guys see it says get started let's go and head into here and now if i go into settings this is the moment of truth let's go to general and then about and you guys can see over here boom just like that we are back on ios 26.1 anyways again i will have videos coming out on the cool stuff that you guys could do on your iphone so make sure that you get subscribed and I would appreciate that a ton. This is Everyday I Tech. Peace.